Hello guys, this is Khadeen and you are watching Grow with Khadeen. In this video, I will be sharing with you that how you can create a website for laundry business without coding. Basically, this website would be built using WordPress and Elementor and you don't need any coding or programming knowledge to build this type of website. And uh, one more thing that uh, uh, you don't need to design this website using WordPress or Elementor or any website builder because this website is already designed. You just have to change the logo. Change the color scheme and change some text and pictures and that's all and uh, that's all you have to do and uh, your website would be designed and you can see the time left and, and that time will be designing these five complete pages not designing but editing these five complete pages and uh, first of all I'll just uh, give you the overview of the website then tell you how you can just uh, create the website by the hosting and all that and at the end I'll teach you that how you can just uh, uh, grow your business be more productive some tools that um, uh, are my recommendation okay so here you can see this is the website uh, home page and uh, I think uh, it uh, have all that ne uh, a website needs then you have about page services page pricing page and contact page and uh, uh, you can check it uh, as well if you want and uh, after um, now uh, you have uh, an overview of this website you know uh, it has five pages it's ha it has all that a dry cleaning or laundry business needs now let's just get started and uh, create the website and design the website First of all, if you are a business owner and you need someone to uh, design your website, you want to hire someone, well, you can hire us. Uh, the website link is also in description and uh, uh, my personal number here you can also see on screen is in description and uh, my personal email as well is in description and you can also contact me over Instagram and I can help you design your website for you and uh, I, we are also providing SEO services, social media marketing services and app development services services so you need app for laundry business or any other business uh, be designed you can just hire us and uh, if you are a professional freelancer what you can do is you can just uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and click on bell icon because i used to upload uh, latest digital marketing seo and web design tutorials and you can also just check out my wp mastery course uh, which is in description in which i have told you that how you can create any type of website within 20 minutes and uh, one more thing that how you can just get clients seven awesome ways to get the clients and uh, then i have told you that how which softwares do, does agencies use to send the proposals and automate all the process and how you can scale to uh, six figures agency now without any uh, wasting any time let's just get started enough of marketing so first of all there are two basic things which you need to create the website first one is uh, uh, domain name and the second one is hosting uh, if you don't know what the domain name and hosting is domain name is the address to the website like uh, Google has its domain google.com Facebook has facebook.com and your business let's suppose uh, my business is on my name Khadeen Laundry and I would have to buy a Khadeen Laundry dot com uh, domain name for my business uh, because uh, if you if I want to just or someone to direct to my website and the second thing is hosting now hosting is a space which is 24 7 uh, uh, on supercomputer which is 24 7 connected to internet and it, it is a basically a server uh, on which all your website files are stored you can't manage it by yourself or um, you would have to buy it okay so there are several companies providing it but I would always recommend bluehost.com the link is in description uh, now uh, uh, when you will go uh, from link in description you will get free SSL certificate free domain name and you will get almost almost minimum of 64% off and the best thing we are using WordPress and Elementor to build this website and this web hosting is recommended by WordPress itself so that's why I just always recommend bluehost.com so just go to link in description and uh, you will see this type of page just click on get started now and after you will click on get started now you will see uh, uh, here you can see you have three plans basic plus and choice plus now my recommendation is always to plus or choice plus because there is basic increment of two or uh, three dollars and I think that's not too much uh, 
uh, because there is a lot difference with basic plan you get just one website with 50 GB space but with plus plan you would have unlimited websites unmetered bandwidth unmetered uh, space uh, website space and with choice plus you would have some extra functionalities like uh, you would have one uh, spam experts domain privacy and protection for free and code guard basic as well for free and I think uh, if you will get with this plus plan these three things uh, it would cost you almost uh, six to seven dollars so I'll just come back what happened there okay so uh, you would have to check one of them select one of them and I would select this one choice plus or you can go with this one as well so let's just uh, um, go with this one so here uh, you would have to type your website name Khadeen laundry.com so here you go the domain name khadeenlaundry.com is available now what you have to do is you just have to enter your details here uh, enter all your details here and uh, or you can just sign in with google fill the form and uh, just close it and here uh, you have account plan for 12 months and uh, 36 months so i would recommend go with this uh, 12 months price okay first of all because you have to check it uh, whether it is um, like a good hosting for you or not as I recommended and I as I have used it's best it's uh, better than any other hosting but uh, you, you have to check it by yourself as well so uh, I would just remove this code guard basic and site loss security as well and uh, if you would have the plus plan you would get all these things included uh, just at fifty nine dollars that that's why I recommend that plan choice plus plan or you can uh, disable all these and uh, you would get it at uh, fifty nine dollars as well okay so uh, right now you are saving sixty six percent and uh, uh, you ha just have to pay fifty nine dollars for one year and I think I don't think that's too much because there are websites charging too much for that and this is a website high tier website providing best performance as well there are websites which are cheaper than mm, this as well but uh, they, uh, they like they their services are a lot uh, like uh, their services are worst okay so now here you would have to add your credit card debit card or if you want to pay with PayPal you can just click on this one and you can pay with PayPal as well and then you just have to click on uh, check this one and click submit and uh, they will ask you to select a password and uh, uh, like they would, uh, yeah you would have to uh, enter a password and um, that's all your you are uh, signed up and the details would be sent to in your email and then you just have to go to bluehost.com I would not buy it right now because I would have to create 60 tutorials and in each tutorial I cannot buy the dom uh, domain and hosting from Bluehost so uh, here you click on uh, login and here you just have to enter your uh, uh, domain name and your password and just click on login They will ask you to create website if not created and if you have created the website already then uh, you just have to um, here it would take some time so as my website is already created so you just have to click on login to WordPress and it would be logged in so right now for the faster experience I am on the local host to design the complete website I'm not using Bluehost server uh, because um, uh, I'm just oh, I'm, uh, internet speed is not too uh, good so I would have to use local host here so uh, now we are at the admin panel uh, Bluehost dashboard and here's where we'll be creating the complete website let's see how our website is looking right now so I'll just click on visit site so that's how our website is looking right now and we have to convert this website into this website it's already 9 minutes uh, and 30 seconds and you can see the time left and in that time left you, we would be uh, designing the complete website or in description you can just see the timestamps uh, how much time is left in this website to be completed and I don't think it would be more than uh, 15 minutes
so to convert this website into this website you will need this stuff and you would have to spend $59 and there is a reason you would have to spend $59 you would have to get this WordPress theme which is Jupyter Elementor multipurpose WordPress theme and first of all let me just give you a reason why you would have to spend uh, $59 uh, let me just go to their demos so here's 450 plus types of websites you can create with the single WordPress theme pre-built websites you don't have to design anything it's already designed and you just have to change the logos and text so here you can see there is websites for all types of business almost 450 plus types of businesses so if your friends have any business your uh, uh, relatives and or you have any other business you can just with the same tutorial you can s create any type of website using this Jupyter WordPress theme now uh, here uh, it's just $59 now how to buy it just click on add to cart and uh, go to checkout and here uh, just enter your details let me just enter it Khadin Akbar and uh, Khadin at laundry.com Khadin laundry and uh, I'll just select it click create account and continue and here you would have to enter all your details click save and continue and here you would have to pay with PayPal or Skrill or you may have other payment methods as well so just uh, select any payment method and pay them uh, with that payment method and after paying uh, paying with the payment method what you just have to do is you just have to go to your downloads and from here you just have to download that theme file uh, I have not bought it from this username because I can't buy it again and again so you just have to buy a, uh, buy a domain name from here uh, so sorry not buy a domain name you would have to download a WordPress th uh, the WordPress theme files from here and uh, there would also be an activation code file notepad file or maybe PDF file you would have also you would also have to download it and after you have downloaded it what you just have to do is you just have to go to dashboard go to appearance go to themes and click on add new upload theme choose file and go to downloads and here you can see Jupyter X uh, here you will have a, a, a zip file you just have to extract it into a folder just go uh, to Jupyter X and from here you just have to select Jupyter X and install now so it's uh, installed uh, now and uh, it's a pretty heavy file but uh, uh, it's um, uh, done in a few seconds that's the reason I used uh, the local host so click on activate now and uh, here you go the website has uh, the theme has been activated now we'll see how our website is looking right now so here's how our website is looking right now and uh, now you would have to install and activate the required plugins here just click on install and activate all required plugins and uh, wait for a few seconds so here you go uh, the uh, in required plugins has been installed and now just click on this register license and here enter your email address and here enter the Invato purchase code now right now I would uh, let me just tell you first how to get it just go to downloads here you will have get a notepad file just download it open it you will get an activation key purchase code just paste the code here and uh, add the email um, on which you registered this uh, profile and just click on submit I'll pause the video and register it because right now because of some privacy issues and I'll get back to you after registration so here you can see the uh, license has been activated now we would have to import the website demo and uh, that's uh, the main step and uh, so how to do it just go to maintenance go to ready-made websites search for laundry here click 
and you can see you have laundry uh, website click import full import in, uh, include media and click on import and again select yes and after some time it would be imported now I am just pausing the video because it might take some time and I just don't want to waste some time and after it's installed and completed I'll get back to you so uh, the template has been uh, imported successfully so I'll just click OK and now we'll see is that uh, how is our website looking right now and uh, I'll just click on reload okay. so here you go and the website uh, has been imported successfully and here you can see here's our website and how our website is looking right now and what's the difference between this website and this website this three one only okay so uh, the website has been imported successfully and now we would have to edit these pictures these logos and these text etc before just editing the website let me just tell you first some uh, a few things that uh, I'm not uh, here uh, uh, telling you about Elementor. Uh, uh, this is not an Elementor tutorial. If you want to learn, just go to YouTube and search for Elementor tutorial, and you will get a lot. But in this video, I'm just get, uh, t I'll be just telling you basic things that how you can just uh, set your website up and uh, don't just try to play around with things because this design uh, this website is designed by professional designers and when you will uh, try to play around with colors and designs and all these things you will just mess up the website and it would, uh, would uh, not look professional so let the website as it is and just change the essential things and that's all it looks professional it, it looks good and uh, but and if you need any customized solution so you can just hire someone and you can hire us as well so I'll be uh, just uh, customizing the website in a uh, few steps first of all we'll be customizing this header and then we'll just customize this footer and at the end we'll just uh, uh, customize this insider pages home about services pricing and contact so uh, let's just get started to customize this header just uh, hover over uh, edit with Elementor click header and uh, the Elementor page builder would be loaded uh, it's uh, asking uh, seems like it was deleted uh, okay so just click on recreate kit you might not get this when you are on Bluehost but I am on localhost due to some speed issues so that's why I'm getting it uh, uh, maybe you, you might not um, like not get it so uh, just click on uh, start update start update and that's an error uh, if you get that uh, just uh, uh, update the databases and that's all and now we'll again reload it and it would be reloaded successfully so here you can see it is loaded successfully and here's uh, the header we have and uh, first of all we will have to change the logo so just click on this pencil icon to change the logo and uh, here it's asking for customizer logo if you want that or other one so what you just have to do is you just have to go to your website go to customize and here in logos you would have to choose the image uh, upload the logo go there upload your logo this is my logo and I'll just upload it click select and logo has been uploaded and if you want to web change the website name and uh, um, like a, a tagline you can change it and in site icon just upload a site icon which would appear here so select crop image and now you can see the site icon has also been changed and nothing else just click publish and uh, I think that's all anything else to be edited here background typography and uh, in typography what is it 
so these are bit colors okay so uh, it has been updated now uh, it has been published now and I think that's all to be edited for right now and uh, we'll just uh, go back to the Elementor we'll reload the page editor and as you can see the logo has been updated now we would have to update this uh, text this button and all that stuff so uh, first of all just uh, to change the address and the timings just click on this edit button and from here you can just change the address as well add address of your choice then uh, you just can change that te uh, timing text from here and uh, just you have to uh, replace the text and then you have this uh, schedule a uh, pickup by the way if you have any question let me know in the comments okay so here uh, you have the button if you want to change the button uh, text here from here you can change the button text if you want to change the style from here you can change all the styles you want to make it like uh, a little bigger a little smaller you can change the weight uh, you can change it as well and uh, you can also change the height you can change the borders you can make it round as well you can change the text size and a lot other like let's suppose you want to make it round here you have round button okay uh, but I won't recommend you editing all these things because when you will try to edit these things it would uh, become a bit uh, like it would uh, uh, become uh, um, uh, it would get messed up and I don't want your stuff to be messed up so then you have menu let it be as it is and uh, I won't recommend you editing this and uh, then you have this uh, just change your phone number and uh, from here just f uh, like l let me just tell you first of all just remove it add your phone number plus ninety two three one seven zero double eight seven five four zero and then just select the whole number click this link and uh, add tell and then your phone number plus ninety two three one seven zero double eight seven five four zero and when someone will click on this link they will uh, uh, it would all uh, like it would automatically uh, be added to your dialer and you can uh, the user can call on this number and then you have this call us for code and you can also edit this that's all about header click update header has been updated successfully and I think that's enough for the header and uh, you can also click on there and check how it looks on mobile that's how it looks on mobile I, I think that's awesome and then you just have to go below and you just have to change this footer just click on edit footer I'll just select this one from here logo has already been changed the sitemap is there customer care uh, these links are there are uh, the links are not there so if you want to add any links here you can just add the links here or text here and then you have phone number you can just change the phone number then you have the email add uh, info at uh, let's suppose khadeen akbar dot com and edit the link and add mail to info at khadeenakbar dot com then address what you can change and then you have the social icons social icons now Facebook change that from icon library change the link with same with Twitter if you want to add new one just click on this one and from here let's suppose I want to add LinkedIn I'll select LinkedIn inserted believe me Elementor is a lot easy to use it's like playing a game it's like uh, editing a photo or video with a, a mobile a video editor on mobile like it's a lot easy it's awesome to, to use it and for here you can just add your uh, link it's not like web designing it's like using I think using uh, the paint uh, which is on Windows and I think it's a lot easy and it would be a lot easy for you as well now just change this uh, text as well 2022 designed by webified hub and here in webified hub I'll add a link or I'll add 
powered by webified hub i'll add a link here https www.webifiedhub.com and click enter and that's all and just uh, I'll let these as they are or oh, no these are not linked so you would have to uh, link your privacy policy page from here just go to pages and from here I think you don't have a privacy policy page so you just have to create a privacy policy and uh, uh, terms and conditions page as well uh, you can just copy the text uh, just click on add new page and uh, you can just search for privacy policy generator and from here you can uh, select any privacy policy generator free software you can just uh, generate your own privacy policy page text and uh, name this privacy policy copy the text from the generator and paste it here and just publish the page and that's all click view page this is the privacy policy page and uh, paste it here in privacy policy and do the same uh, sorry do the same with uh, terms and conditions page just go there uh, search for TOC's generator free you will get a TOC's generator and uh, no not uh, terms and conditions generator free so you will get it just uh, generate it as well and just paste it as well click update your header and footer has been updated and now we'll edit the inside pages inside content uh, content inside the header and footer will go back to our website and now it's time to edit this inside content so to edit the content inside just click on edit with elementor first of all we'll edit the home page so uh, just go there from here uh, first of all uh, you will have to uh, if you want to change the background color uh, first of all just select this one navigator select this section and uh, from here you can change the background image if you want and I, um, I I don't want you to change these images if you have don't, don't have images with the same dimensions and if you don't have Canva Pro like software the link is in description to design awesome images like that I don't recommend you um, just changing the images because these are awesome these are perfectly fit and uh, just change the text and uh, go with it and uh, for then uh, you just if you want to change the text just click on this edit and change the text then you have this uh, text editor uh, from here you can just change that uh, uh, this text and then you have two buttons first of all this button uh, and uh, I think these are already linked to your pages and let them as they are and then you have all these services sections and uh, what are your featured services and what are their uh, features and uh, I think that's already added if you want to change the background you can go there go to styles and from here you can change the background uh, just go to be background overlay I think no in background uh, you can change the image as well and uh, I think it's uh, yeah so then you have this one best laundry company ever about your company add your uh, sign uh, and uh, upload a sign in uh, PNG and uh, just add uh, this uh, text and this text and change this text if you want to change the image just click on image and you cho click choose image and upload image of your choice then you can uh, also change this image as well this is basically a spacer so from here you can see where's the image lying and we can see the image so yeah there is the image in a column so from here you can change this image as well 
and then from here you can also change the stuff call us now button and links and you know how to edit the button and I can tell you A and B uh, uh, of uh, the designing now because I am just telling you the basics and that's all my uh, about my job so uh, now just click on this edit section go to style and here from here you can just change the image and if you want to make it more dark just go to background overlay and increase the opacity and you can make it more dark and then uh, there is uh, some pricing plans if you want to uh, uh, add uh, update uh, these pricing plans here you have all these things uh, if you want to edit this package you have uh, uh, first of all title six cloths wash change this from here and then you have subtitle um, I think that's not added so let me just end this is subtitle so if you want to add anything else so subtitle would be added there and uh, then uh, you uh, is this uh, is this package featured or not if uh, you when you will click this featured so a featured button would be added here and uh, you can add text to, um, like you can add uh, an icon batch here but I don't want to make it featured so then you have price section from here you can change the price section and price the sign then some features here's the list of features and you can uh, uh, edit these features and then you have a uh, 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 action button where you can just change it okay so if you have an a uh, laundry app for uh, this uh, business you can just redirect them to the app uh, to upgrade the plan or if you have manual services like you are contacting um, uh, uh, like com uh, communicating with the customers or whatsapp email or any other medium you can just redirect the customers there and you can add that link here or you can just redirect them directly to contact us page or pricing page or any other page um, uh, you want I'm not getting it uh, just copy the contact us page link and paste it here and that's all and, uh, and then you have uh, the sa same is with others and if you have more pricing plans what you can do is you can just click on this one or any one of them like this column and just click duplicate and more plan is added and if you want three above and three below then you can just what you want to do is you're gonna just uh, duplicate this section and the section has been duplicated and you have six plans right now I don't want it and then you have this one uh, and uh, you can just add your play store link you can add your app store link and if you don't have an app you can hire us to create an app for you and uh, that's all about uh, um, about this page and I'll just click on update and we'll move on to the next page so just let's go to uh, the about page from here I think we cannot read uh, uh, go to that page uh, we'll have to go back let's just go to the about page here in about page I think the things are same you just have to edit this title uh, with the same technique and you just have to edit all these products and all that stuff and you would have to edit these stats and all that let me just tell you how to do it because it's a bit complicated so just go there And from here you can just add the title and uh, the tagline and then you have this one and from here you can just change the logo change the title and description and then you can change the description text and then you can change this text as well if you want and uh, add a link and in settings you have a lot other options and styles you can change uh, but I would never recommend changing all that stuff and then you have some services or a process and you can change the process as well and then you have some testimonials click this testimonial and change the picture of the guy who is testimonial is it and then you can add an icon as well and then you have uh, what's its testimonial what's his name what's his position what was the date and what is the link to the testimonial as well if you want and you can add more as well from here or you can duplicate it as well so from here you can just change uh, the stats oh, in item 1 how much uh, is ending number uh, how much uh, pounds of laundry weekly and uh, how much successful products done and how much video tutorials created and how much happy clients and then you have some uh, team uh, 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 team members and if you have more team members you can uh, as I told you just click element uh, and duplicate it and that's only the solution what we can do just duplicate it and add more and then you have this form and uh, 
uh, a few settings in this form like uh, settings uh, and add an action and first of all add email so when someone will fill this form uh, it would be emailed uh, to you and uh, to your admin email ba basically not to artbees.com but uh, any of email you would add like uh, my one is uh, khadeen at webifiedhub.com so I'll add it and uh, uh, when someone will uh, just fill this form it would be sent to me at khadeen at uh, .com. and then we have feedback messages email and uh, 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 there are more actions if you want to make add to HubSpot, Mailchimp, Webhook, act, Active Campaign or any other and uh, that's all and if you want to edit it as well just click on update then again we'll just go back in services here we have some services and there are same pro products then in pricing we have same stuff going on there are some pricing plans and contact now and then in contact contact as well we have same things to edit and that's all and that's all about this uh, when you, someone will click on schedule a pickup they would redirect it to be uh, there uh, at, uh, at this uh, a pricing page and here they can just pick up their pricing package and they can do as um, anything as well and uh, that's I think that's a traditional uh, a laundry services website and that's all uh, what you can create using this tutorial and it would almost cost you one twenty dollars but if you would hire someone to create a customized solution it would cost you around thousand to two thousand dollars but don't worry we are not charging that much because we are from Asia and our services are a bit affordable and we are almost charging uh, a maximum for this uh, this type of website a maximum of 500 uh, to 400 not uh, too much so uh, what you can do is you can hire us for these services as well and that's all about the video see you in next video till then uh, no I just forgot about uh, the tools and software so let me just give you an overview of those tools and softwares as well so here's the list of some uh, useful tools and software. First one is WP Rocket, uh, basically to speed up your website if you want to speed up your WordPress website, and if you want to add widgets to your website like live chat, uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, you want to add reviews and audio players, video players, video galleries, and a lot of other widgets. You uh, should check out Elfsight widgets, the second one, and then Elementor Pro if you want to uh, customize your website with more customization options. Calendly is basically for appointment bookings. And and uh, uh, ticket booking uh, appointment booking stuff and scheduling uh, software which I use to book appointments with uh, uh, which uh, I use uh, like uh, uh, I have a link I just sent to my clients if they want to book appointment with me and this is something that is used by major companies uh, then you have big spy big spy is basically an ads uh, spy software if you want to run ad campaigns on Facebook Instagram uh, YouTube you can use this software to see uh, how much money your competitors are spending and watch which strategy they are using which ad videos and uh, ad photos they are using and uh, what content they are using then you have canva canva is basically for uh, for graphic designing if you want to uh, design awesome graphics and if you want to get more views on youtube get ranked on youtube then you can use vidiq pro then uh, if you want to rank on google you rank your website on google you can use SEM Rush. then in what elements is basically a, uh, a subscription where you will get millions of templates audio templates video templates website templates and a lot of other stuff get response uh, if you want to uh, um, do ma email marketing you have an email list and you want to market them or um, if you want to build email list from your website you would need a marketing software I, um, in my opinion get response is best uh, email marketing software and at the end if you want any CRM for your uh, business then HubSpot is my recommended CRM and that's all about the tools and strategies that you can uh, not strategies but some tools that can uh, help you improve your business that's all about the video see you in the next video till then stay safe take care goodbye